Welcome to the show. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, so first and foremost, if you would like to join the show live, I go live every single Monday and Wednesday at noon, every once in a while on the weekends or at other times. So uh, you can join us live at any of those times on YouTube, and you can join in on the chat on loop YouTube, or call in 845-277-9131. Not sure, based on this intro, how my words are going to work today, but let's do what we always do and just wing it. We'll see. We'll see, right? That's all we can do is just wing it and see. Okie dokie. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. And again, we are live on YouTube. So if you want to watch it, come on over to YouTube and watch the show. Um, I want to say hi to everyone on YouTube so far. There are so many people in here having great conversations. Say out. Um, Mimi, uh, Anne, Fawn. Hey, Fawn. Welcome to the show. Um, Genevieve, Terry, and uh, Rebecca, Heather, and uh, somebody else. Yep. I, I get, I, there may be someone else. If I forgot to, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm doing songs this morning for people. So the first name I received this morning, I don't know if it's somebody listening or someone from the other side, but I keep hearing the name Laura or Lorelai. Um, so if that is your name or you know someone on the other side, they are saying, hello, hi, how are you? Uh, the other thing that I keep getting this morning, and it's just a general statement and I don't know who it's for but if it's for you you'll know but the statement is don't go down roads you've already been down now I can throw a lot of my own meanings on that but like it could mean if we're talking relationship don't go back to a person from the past if we're talking jobs it could mean don't go back to a job you've already been at that didn't work out that didn't work out um if it didn't work out the first time, chances are it's not going to work out the second time. Just saying. Splaining it to you. Just splaining it to you. Um, so, yes, that is what I'm hearing. Um, so, I am going to, throughout the show, shout out the number for the show. If you want to connect with me to have a private session, one-on-one, -on -one, I do not do email sessions. I do not do text sessions. Do not text me a question, just one question. Now, if, you, if it's off the show, you can go to my site, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, all the info is on my site on how to connect with me, along with the number to call. And we have a person-to-person, -person, let's talk it out, session. Okay? Okay. Hey, Amy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Okie dokie. I'm going to tell you, Sal, I gave Sal a song, but in the in the chat, I could not, I could not, I don't think I could give you enough in the chat um, to explain the song. And I don't know all the words to the song and I can't, definitely cannot sing this song correctly, but it's by a man. And if anybody knows this song, uh, please put it in the chat. It's, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. And it, then one of the lines is, I saw you, I saw your face in a crowded place, and I don't know what to do. Uh, Sal, that's your song for today. That is it. I, I'm sorry I can't give you more. Something about on a train, but I'm sorry I can't give you more, Sal. I wish I could because it's making me crazy when I can't remember the lyrics to a song. So if anybody knows what song that is and you're on YouTube, put it in the chat for Sal. And Sal, if you know what song that is, 
um, yeah, I saw your face in a crowded place and I, um, it's like about a missed connection, I think. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> there's that, Sal. Um, I'm going to go straight to callers now and I'll be going between callers and the chat to answer questions. So if you have a question, you can put it in the chat. If you have, um, Oh, thank you, Sal. Uh, uh, you can call in 845-277-91. Sal says, awesome, getting chills. And that's a confirmation. I love that, Sal. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, it, when I call your area code on the call log, please have a question, a kind of specific question available or a specific loved one on the other side. This gives me a direct place to go kind of in your energy. And then from there, if I get more, I give more. Um, if I don't, I don't. Okay. Um, and having a very specific question lets your peeps on the other side know exactly what you want. And, and we can get right to it. And if again, if more information comes through, I will give that information. Okay. Uh, there was one more thing I was going to say. Oh, I'll never reach out to you on social media, on any social media. So on any of the blog talk stations that I'm on, on any of the YouTube, on any social media, if anybody posts, and I get this all the time, and I'm having to remove it all the time, reach out to this person for this, reach out to that. Don't. Those are all scams. And... I will never reach out and say, you need a reading and pretending it's me. I don't do that. I, I do not do that. So please do not get scammed. It's not me. Again, I will never say, I'll email your reading. Jesus, I don't like typing or tippy tapping. I don't even know if they call it typing anymore. Half my words, I, I'm very dyslexic. Half my words are spelled wrong. I don't know grammar. I'm not sending anybody an emailed anything. Like I'm not sending anybody an emailed anything. Okay. 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 So it's not me. Don't be scammed. Don't waste your money on people who are writing on other people's social media. Don't do it. The only way I do sessions is over the phone or in person. That's it. Okay. Having said that, I'm going to say hi to my youngest brother, Stevie. I hope you're having an amazing day. I love you so stinking much, little bum. Okay. I'm going to go to 860, 860. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Lisa Marie. I'm calling from Connecticut. Thank you so much. Um, I would love to hear from my dad about my current life situation. Okay, beautiful. What's your dad's first name? Okay, beautiful. What's your dad's first name? Robert. Okay. Or Bob. Okay. So again, I'm hearing that statement that I started out the show with, don't go down old roads. So it might not mean you're going down the let's just say for example and and lisa marie if you're listening to me in the background can you turn down whatever you're listening to me on and then this is what i'm gonna say to you um if you let's just say in the past you had a job or a boyfriend and it went a certain way and what i'm hearing is it could be a new person, but it's going the same way. Don't don't repeat that cycle. Don't go through that again. Um, don't go down old roads. Is I'm not what sure I, I'm married. Okay. I'm not well, sure again, about that I'm married. Okay. That, thank you for clarifying that. And again, it could be a work situation, a family situation, a friend situation. It can be any situation, but okay. what I'm hearing... Okay is don't don't repeat the past or don't do something like even if it's a new person coming in like a new friend a new job a new whatever don't um if it feels like something that happened before just cut it 
cut it quick, okay? And then the one other thing that I'm hearing for you is the, it's that song. Um, oh my gosh, they are always doing this song on the show. I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. Don't have to give me advice. Why don't you just let me be? Da -na 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 -na. Okay, so we know what the song is. We don't have to keep singing it. So whatever your situation is, so, yeah, right? Like, seriously, I can't sing. And to make me sing that much of the song is ridiculous. Um, whatever this situation, situation is, I feel like this song is part of the answer to that situation. So I'm going to ask you now, if you're comfortable telling me the situation, please tell me the situation. Um. Well, it's a lot. It's it's a bad marriage. It's a lawsuit for a dog bite that I'm coming up next week, and the lawyer just sold his flipping practice. So I'm like, what? And and my health is falling apart in every which way. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my original statements. Don't go down roads you've already been down. So you've been going down this road for a while, and they're just saying, like, I mean, I don't, maybe that statement doesn't make sense to you for your situation, but that's that statement just makes so much effing sense to me for your situation, and probably other people can see it. But I've been in situations, now before I go any further with my little statement, where someone's told, to, said something to me and I'm like, huh? That doesn't make any sense. But everybody else could see for me that it made sense because I was a little bit like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, you're, and I know, I know what I'm going to hear back from you. I know what you're going to say back. So I'm going to say to you, if you can get out your most important, biggest step to improve everything in your life is to jump out of the situation that you're all, the biggest, worst situation you're already in. So if you're, let's just say, for example, your marriage isn't good. If your marriage isn't good and you've done everything you can, and I'm not telling anybody what to do, I'm saying if, um, if you can get out of that, you're going to see a dramatic change in everything else in your life. And it's going to start to move in a direction that's better for you. Okay. Now, some okay, people will okay. say, I, I can't get out of this. I don't have the money. I don't have this. I don't have that. And I get that. I understand that. Start making your plan. I always call it your go bag. Have your go bag. Start siphoning a little money, putting it away. Buy generic. I, I, I never say this, but buy generic instead of regular. Any place you can get money and siphon it away, do that. When you go shopping, take an extra 20 out and put it siphoned away. Whatever you have to do to get that to go plan together. Okay. I feel like that's what you need to do, and that's going to be the most empowering thing for you. And I do feel like as long as you feel stuck and like you don't have a choice, everything is going to keep being the way it is. I'm going to do a clearing for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. Uh, she she thinks feels no stuck. Yes, let's clear all being stuck. Um, doors are opening. I get a no. Let's clear that. So doors are opening for everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. Let's get those doors opening. And um, I'm going to do one in general uh, for health. She's in uh, bad health. I get a yes. Let's clear that. And instantly, I'm going to tell you something. All the rest of the clearings I was good on, but as soon as I said the bad health, I felt like a vice was on my head. So I'm going to tell you, this is, if you want to be in a situation that is 
where you are healthy, you cannot be in an unhealthy living arrangement with a in a, a re, unhealthy relationship. Just start your exit plan. That's what it's going to start your exit plan. It's not something you have to do overnight, but an exit plan, you can plan it out in your mind and then just slowly implement it and get out. Um, and I know how difficult that can be. I'm going to, I'm going to just say I was, when I was much, much younger, I was in a very bad, very bad relationship situation. It was really bad. Very bad. As a matter of fact, I don't think I never wanted to live with another person after that. And, um, and I had to plan an exit strategy um, on my own. And I know it's possible no matter what your circumstances are based on that. If you, if you say to heaven, this is what I want, they will start to open those doors and they will start to make the way for you. And they will put the things in front of you that you need. And as a matter of fact, I had to, I, I had a roommate, I, I did get a roommate, but it was a female. And I did end up getting a cash job immediately. So then I had the money coming in also. And that might be the route you have to take where you have a cash job lined up so that the moment you walk out, you have this cash job you can start doing. So you're immediately bringing in money. And other than telling you this, I don't know what else I could. I mean, there's a lot more I could say, but this is what they're saying that is the best step for you. Okay, sweetie? Okay, much for the blessing. Thank you. You are so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. You too. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm going to say hi to Sally. Hi to Patrick. Hey, Patrick. How was um, California? Patrick was out in California again. Uh, how is California, Patrick? Um, I hope it was good. Uh, Sally online wants to know, um, will Noah and I be in a committed relationship by the end of this year or sooner? Will Sally and Noah be in a committed relationship? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Um, it will be a very tight, a very tight relationship. It'll be a good relationship. It's not, okay. So it, what I'm going to say to you, Sally, is um, allow it to go at the pace it's supposed to go at. Um, don't worry about how fast you get there. Worry about not worry. Don't, don't think about how quickly you want to get there. Instead, think about, um, paying attention to everything on the way there. Look at this as an amusement park ride, an amusement park, sorry, not an amusement park ride, an amusement park. Explore all of it, figure out what you like about this, what you don't like about it, and work within it. Um, sometimes we're in such a hurry to get to that commitment or to the what is this, or we're on our way to the next step that we might miss one or two things. And they're asking you to just take your time and enjoy the view. Okay. It's like going, okay. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. It's like going to Italy or another country and being so concerned with seeing the big, like, oh, the Colosseum and the, the big chapel and the taking the gondola ride that we don't see anything else except for those things that there are millions of pictures of. Enjoy all of the, enjoy the all of it is what I'm getting. I hope that makes sense to you. I, I really hope it makes sense to you. 
and I'm happy that you uh, he it, 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 the the dinner seems like it went well. Um, okay, Patrick won twenty five hundred at a casino. Congrats, Patrick! That's awesome. I love that. Um, I'm gonna go to the next caller. I don't know if I took eight six zero or not. I don't know if the first caller was eight six zero. I'm I'm gonna go to six five one. Six five one. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Christiana from Minnesota. Hey, Christiana, how can I help you? Um, I don't know if this is really specific, but um, I have a few people on the other side that maybe you could pick one of them. Um, Aunt Honey, my son Taylor, or my baby Coco. So I was wondering if any of them had a message for me or oh. maybe somebody else on the other side, like pertaining to um, guidance and what steps I should take next in life. I have a, kind of an idea, but I'm just wondering. Okay, so. What they have to say. Okay, so the first, um, how old was your son, Taylor, love? Eight months. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So the first person coming through is Taylor. And then the there are a number of people with Taylor, of course. I'm going to say that the next... Okay. Okay. Then the next thing... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at this. I'm sorry. Because as soon as I say to them, what should she do next? I hear this song and it's work, 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 work. You got to work, 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 work. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm so happy you yeah, laughed I at that. I my mom a lot and then I shake my butter on. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that confirmation. <laughs> and yeah, that that is the very first thing that came through is a oh, work, 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 a work, work. Yeah, so I'm going to stop singing that. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, okay. So, um, and then the next thing that's coming through, and I'm sorry, um, is you can do it, put your back into it. Like that song is coming through also. But what I'm getting <laughs> is, and the, the, that song is for what I'm about to say. And what I'm about to say to you is, uh, sweetie, how old are you? 37. Oh, my God. You sound like you are like hella 20 or something like that. You sound so young. Um, I'm going to tell you, yeah. if you're not doing your own business, you are supposed to start your own thing. Now, when I say do your own business, it doesn't mean get a place and start, you know, invest all this money and product or a storefront or anything like that. It's not like that at all. There's something you've been thinking of doing on your own. And this can be an independent contractor. It can be like a, a business. And I'm going to give you examples. It doesn't mean it's this. It can be whatever it is that you've already been thinking of, whether it's a some sort of a healing type of business or some sort of um like a, 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 a beauty business, whatever it is. Um, what I'm hearing is it's time for you to start. And then I hear the word home. So I think you might be able to start this either at home or from home and work your way up, up into m more of it. I don't know what it is that you've been thinking or had the idea for. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's intuitive um, art paintings, intuitive paintings for people. Okay. And that's why I did get the word he healing too. I think that's why I got, I got the healing business. I think your intuitive art business is going to do very, very well. I think you can do intuitive art for healing for relationship for for whatever you can have people order very specific if you wanted to but here's what i'm going to tell you 
whatever it is you've been wanting to do, do it, get it up, get it online, get it going. Don't hesitate and push it. <clears throat> be a little bit, I don't want to say be aggressive about it, but be aggressive. They're, they want to say be aggressive about it. Be aggressive about it. Um, and once you have your, do you have a website, love? Um, I do for my psychic. I uh, was trying to get a psychic business up and running, but I wasn't very really successful with it. So okay, so it, it, I was thinking about um, maybe getting the art art one up. It's a, and one of the funny, uh, this is interesting because one of the funny, one of the interesting things in the beginning when they said healing and I, I kept hearing cards, cards, cards. So I don't know if you, how you do, but w what I'm get, getting is um, get out there. You have uh, what, however you are promoting or sharing your business, you have to be a little bit more aggressive about it look at the way other people are doing it and then go that route like don't copy them verbatim but put your own spin on it um it's so funny i i i said the word spin but they use the word spit which i don't even understand so i didn't use that word but they're like put your own spit on it um so what, however you like, watch how other people are doing it and then just keep building and don't worry about how long it takes to take off. And I'm just going to tell you when you're in your own business, you never feel like you're there no matter how far you have come. Okay. So don't even worry about that as, and everybody in business in their own business will probably agree with me that no matter how far you are in your business, you never sit back and go, yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. I'm, I'm going to, I'm where, I, because once you get to one thing, you go to the next and the oh. next and you're always building. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have to make some money to survive though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. listen, listen, I get that. Everybody gets that. And it's, Here's the thing. If you take out all, we have so many hours in a day. And if we can mm -hmm. take out certain things that we do and put it towards other, other things, we're, we're going to be able to be so much more successful than we thought. So without being too whatever, I I get it. There are many, many people who, and I'm going to use this example, um, and I know it's not the type of business that you're doing or wanting to do, but even people with like, let's just say a food truck, they'll work their regular job, but they'll get out there with their food truck when they're not working and, and park their food truck. Like if they have a nine to five you know, they're rushing out of their job, getting in their food truck, prepping food and getting on the street to be there by whatever time. And even if they have to work through bar time, um, they're doing it and they're th because they know eventually they'll be able to let go of that nine to five and rock that food truck. However, you want to say that um, if you only can work weekends or you only can work mornings or nights do that when you can do it but don't don't say well I have to do this so I can't do that find a way to make it happen okay because what they're saying is this is what you need to do I love you all so stinking much I will see you on Wednesday